The keto diet is a high-fat, low-carb diet plan. It can be difficult to start. It's most likely a very radical change from the way you typically eat. However, many people are trying the keto diet, which puts your body in a state of ketosis. That's what happens when your body's carb-burning switch changes to a fat-burning one, which can cause weight loss. This video is a guide for some things you may want to consider as you make preparations in preparing mentally and buying necessary foods for the change in diet. Know what foods you'll eat and which you will avoid on the ketogenic diet. In following a keto meal plan, you'll be severely limiting the carbs you ingest. It is suggested that you start off consuming between 20 and 30 grams of carbohydrates per day. Also, make sure you know what carbs, fat, and protein are in the foods you eat, so you can make the best choices. For instance, it's not just bread, pasta, snack foods, candy, and ice cream that contain carbs. Beans contain protein, but they're also very high in carbohydrates. Fruit and vegetables also contain a high amount of carbs. The only foods that don't contain carbs are meat and pure fats, like butter and oils. Examine your relationship with fat. Keto involves eating a lot of fat. To prepare for a high-fat diet, which can be uncomfortable at first, start making small adjustments to what you eat every day, like ordering a burger on lettuce leaves instead of bread and substituting green vegetables for fries. Instead of potatoes with your meal, have a low-starch vegetable. Start cooking with more oil, such as olive or avocado oil. Old dieting habits such as making a plain skinless grilled chicken breast don't make sense on a keto diet because you won't get the necessary fat. Begin to slowly start to push out carbs and consuming extra fat. If you're afraid of fat, a ketogenic diet won't be for you. Switch up your view of protein. One of the most common misconceptions about the keto diet is that you can eat as much protein as you want. But this is not the case, this is not a diet where you watch carbs only, you also have to keep your protein intake moderate. Protein can be converted into glucose, and therefore overeating protein can take your body out of ketosis. Think of your ratios as a small portion of meat topped with a generous amount of fat. Develop your cooking skills to make fresh meals. High-carb processed foods are not okay on keto. Drink bulletproof coffee. It's one of the best keto drinks made by mixing coconut oil and butter into your coffee. This drink will help keep your hunger lower. Coconut oil has the potential to send LDL, or bad, cholesterol levels soaring high. So if you have heart disease or are at an increased risk for it, you'll likely want to avoid this beverage. To be on the safe side, talk it over with your physician first. Talk to your family about your weight loss goals on the diet. You may not be able to eat what they're eating during mealtimes, so you'll want to prepare them for what your new habits will be. Know what side effects to expect. For all the attributes of a ketogenic diet, there is one big side effect you have to be prepared for. The keto flu. The keto flu refers to the period after you start the diet when your body is adjusting to burning fat for energy. In the first few days, you may feel very lethargic. Walking upstairs may feel next to impossible. You may feel like you are in a mental fog. Often, keto causes constipation, or potentially diarrhea, because of the change in fiber intake. For that reason, you should pick a start date when your week isn't crazy with deadlines and obligations. Choose a slower time when you can rest as needed. You'll also want to be sure to take it easy with exercise for the first few weeks as your body adjusts to burning more fat rather than carbs for fuel. Increase electrolyte intake to mitigate unpleasant keto side effects. Once you are in ketosis, your kidneys excrete more water and electrolytes than they typically do. Make sure you're getting the sodium and potassium that your body needs to function properly. Salt your foods, drink salted bone broth, and eat low-starch vegetables, such as asparagus, kale, bell peppers, and arugula. Acknowledge when keto might not be the proper diet for you there are medical conditions that should be taken into consideration before starting a keto diet. Be sure to talk to your doctor before starting out. Especially for people who use insulin, as well as those who take oral and non-insulin injectable medications for things such as high blood sugar or high blood pressure. GI issues may be a barrier to starting as well. Constipation is a common side effect, so GI issues can be a serious reason not to go on this relatively low-fiber diet. If existing personal dietary restrictions require you to avoid foods such as soy, eggs, nuts, dairy, or seafood, a ketogenic diet might be too limiting for you. Have an after plan. 
Keto isn't meant to be a long-term weight loss solution A keto diet is not diet that you will stay on forever. It's designed to be short-term. Your ultimate goal should be to shift your diet to a healthier pattern that involves eating less bread, less pasta, less flour, and less sugar, as well as more non-starchy vegetables. Think about what that will look like for you once the keto diet is over. How will you use this temporary diet to propel your long-term health goals? Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.